All right, uh, this is uh, day 17, and uh, this morning I'm leaving the uh, Nantahala Outdoor Center, or the NOC, and I think some people call it the NOC. Uh, I spent a zero there yesterday, mainly because uh, the two previous days were killer days. Uh, the uh, one day, pouring down rain, uh, heading mostly uphill, and then thinking that uh, the next day was going to be an easy day because it was mostly downhill, but the, uh, the downhill was a real killer. Quite steep, literally, literally climbing down rocks. At some points I couldn't even, I uh, had to take off my backpack and drop it down and then climb down to get my backpack and uh, and then uh, just the wear and tear on my knees was tough I uh, so yesterday I was giving my knees a chance to recover they had a lot of fluid on them for sure and uh, even uh, today I'm still feeling the effects of uh, those uh, two previous days of hiking so we'll see how it goes but also you know the mental challenge is starting to uh, kick in as well I was looking at the calendar and uh, the types of mileage that I've been doing and the, the date that I was hoping to be completed by and you know I'm uh, starting to doubt my uh, ability to uh, complete the trail by the uh, date that I had set so uh, you know we'll see I just got to uh, you know not uh, let the, any kind of depression set in uh, keep a positive mindset and uh, have fun as best I can on these uh, challenging days okay so uh, today I'm gonna be climbing I think over uh, 3,000 feet, uh, if not more. I think I heard somebody earlier today say it was a 4,000 foot climb today. Uh, I, I don't think it's quite that much, but I, it's definitely at least 3,000 feet I'm going to be climbing today. I'm hoping to make it to the, uh, I think it's the Sa Sassafras uh, campgrounds and uh, uh, set up camp uh, there tonight. But uh, yeah, we'll see how my legs hold out uh, and uh, how uh, steep this climb is uh, today. Uh, uh, you know, gaining the altitude isn't bad as long as it's not too steep, but when it gets steep, that's when uh, the legs <laughs> start to give out. So we'll see how it goes. So I, uh, hiked, uh, I think about 10 or 11 miles today from the uh, Nantahala Outdoor Center, uh, and I'm staying at the uh, campsite called uh, uh, Locust, Locust Cove, I believe. And uh, I'm quickly approaching Fontana Dam and the, uh, the Smoky Mountains. I should be, I've been uh, monitoring the weather to uh, figure out my timing of when I want to uh, start uh, my hike through the Smoky Mountains. Right now, uh, I guess there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, kind of severe weather uh, in the uh, forecast for the Smokies, so I'm uh, still trying to figure out exactly how I want to plan that. I might end up spending maybe a couple of days uh, uh, in uh, the Fontana Village, I think, uh, there. 
Uh, they have a little resort there that if I feel like it, I could uh, probably check in just to avoid some of the uh, uh, snowstorms and things like that that seem to be uh, predicted right now for the uh, for the Smoky Mountains. So, yeah, this, so this is the end of uh, day 17 and um, start day 18 tomorrow. Well, uh, day 17 was uh, rather uneventful. Uh, I had intended, uh, intended to stay at the uh, Sassafras uh, campsite, but uh, I couldn't find any uh, convenient water source there, so I decided to uh, hike an extra uh, three and a half miles to um, Locust, uh, the Locust campsite, and uh, spent the night there with some, uh, some really nice people. I'm actually, I'm uncharacteristically, the last one out this morning. It's uh, 9.24. Uh, this is leaving a little bit late for me, but you know, it is what it is. And so I think I'm going to be hiking for about 12 miles today. And then uh, tomorrow, reach uh, Fontana Dam, assess the weather situation in the Smokies, and uh, make a decision from there. But uh, yeah, day 17 was, um, you know, like I said, fairly uneventful. Uh, some a, a big climb for sure, uh, but uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, for, uh, and so uh, today we'll see how uh, day 18. This is day 18 uh, on the uh, Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm a little more than uh, halfway through my trek uh, today and uh, been thinking about uh, the Smokies that are coming up and uh, you know in my previous videos I talked about my sleeping bag and how old it was and I feel like it's lost some of its insulation and I, I've definitely had some pretty cold nights here and uh, I'm definitely going to see some really cold nights in the Smokies. So, I'm thinking about maybe um, taking at least one zero once I get to uh, Fontana and maybe uh, taking a shuttle, even though it's kind of expensive, into uh, Gatlinburg where there's an outfitter. And I may uh, replace my sleeping bag just uh, to be on the safe side. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, the hike today uh, has not been bad, although uh, Jacob's Ladder, the a climb, uh, uh, was part of it, which I didn't realize until I'd gotten there. And it, that was a, a pretty tough climb, but I'm over that. And I think the rest of the, the hike today is going to be uh, pretty easy, I hope. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's where I stand right now. Uh, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, probably not uh, make another video until I get to uh, my camp today, the Cable, cable uh, Gap um, campsite. So, all right, that's it. Okay, this is a part of the trail I don't normally record on, and this is the reason why. Uh, so, we are climbing a lot of rocks today. Uh, and uh, it's a little tricky recording and climbing up and down these rocks at the same time. So, that's why. I don't usually record on parts of the trail like that.
it's uh, day uh, 18 or 19, I'll have to check. It's either 18 or 19, and I'm leaving uh, Cable Gap and heading towards uh, Fontana Dam. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm thinking about replacing my sleeping bag, getting a shuttle into Gatlinburg, which is gonna be about an hour long drive, I think, uh, for the shuttle, so it won't be cheap, but uh, I think that's gonna be my plan. But there's, there's a, a couple of big variables. Number number one, the, the weather. Uh, what is the weather forecast gonna be? And it changes constantly. And even if I get a fairly uh, recent uh, forecast uh, before I enter the Smokies, so it, it, it can all change pretty quickly in the Smokies. So I'm gonna plan for the worst. That's why I'm gonna, um, no matter what, uh, be getting myself a new sleeping bag. So uh, the weather is a big variable. The next variable is, um, I sh it shouldn't take me too long to get into uh, Fon down to Fontana Dam where I can catch a shuttle into Gatlinburg where there's an REI where I hopefully can find a, a, a nice new uh, sleeping bag. Uh, the problem is today uh, is uh, Easter uh, and I'm not sure if REI will be open or not. So I may have to uh, spend the night in Gatlinburg. And then, um, so yeah. That's, um, that's the plan. And then uh, I've, I've actually, there's a couple of young guys that um, want to uh, share the shuttle with me into Gatlinburg. And they're, they're planning on actually spending uh, maybe two or three days there waiting for the severe weather to, uh, to pass. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. If I've got, if I'm prepared for it, then uh, I, I, don't, I don't feel bad about uh, heading into some snow and stuff. Uh, and that's why I'm getting the, the new sleeping bag. But um, yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot of variables. Um, uh, that uh, I'll probably within the next 24 hours we'll figure out what those are going to be. So yeah, this is uh, day 18 or 19, <laughs> and uh, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's a. I think a little better view of Fontana Dam, which is my destination for today. So, and I'm guessing I'm somewhere between three and a, three and a half miles more of hiking before I get there. Okay, so I'm going through a lot of the trail today that I don't record as I'm hiking it for obviously for obvious reasons. So I'll do a quick little video here while I'm not hiking. <coughs> All right, now that I have descended a good part of the mountain, we're getting a little better view of the dam. And I'm guessing I should be down there on the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Well, I made it uh, down to uh, Fontana and uh, getting uh, the shuttle to Gatlinburg has proven uh, to be a little more difficult than uh, uh, we had originally thought. I'm still with those, the two guys, young guys, uh, Jeff and Mark, uh, and uh, we're trying to figure out uh, how we can actually get uh, a shuttle into Gatlinburg. And I definitely have to get in there. Actually, I think it's Pigeon Forge is where the REI is. And uh, I wouldn't mind stopping by a Verizon to see about uh, picking up a um, portable hotspot so it'll make it uh, uploading these videos uh, a little bit easier uh, as well. So uh, I may end up spending, you know, maybe a couple of days in Gatlinburg taking care of everything if, if we ever get there. Uh, I think actually right now uh, they're down there checking in to, you know, just see about getting an Uber or something like that, which will be uh, probably not an expensive of us, uh, you know, we can split the cost, uh, it may not be uh, too bad, so, yeah, so uh, this is uh, really the day, uh, the end of the, 
the hiking day, uh, end of the hiking day for day uh, 19. And uh, once I get into Gatlinburg, I'll have access to some decent Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So I'll probably go ahead and upload the, the last three days, days um, 17, 18, and 19. Uh, for, for this uh, video, so yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, we get to Gatlinburg sometime uh, before it gets too late today. So.